dinner and a show, the motto of Mr. Chow for decades. While many may think this Chinese restaurant is part of the newer trendy dining scene, it actually has been serving clientele from artists like Andy Warhol to Hollywood celebrities since the 70s. With multiple locations around the world, general manager Ricardo Amorim says they stay consistent in their five-star service and handmade recipes. Ricardo himself has been working for the company for over 20 years. I think the quality of the food is consistent, so they know what to expect. And it's a fun atmosphere. It's not one of these places you sit down and just have a meal. It's everything, the energy, it's amazing. For people that come and then come over and over, they feel like home. This Beverly Hills location is actually the first in the U.S. after Mr. Chow himself, Michael Chow, opened the London restaurant on Valentine's Day in 1968. The capital of entertainment is L.A. And Mr. Chow is one of the restaurants that does entertainment. And you'll see during the night how much entertainment we do, how much shows we do during the evening. So that was the number one location to come. It was L.A. And then the second one, of course, New York. Over the years, the menus have basically stayed the same, with the emphasis always on experience. For instance, this noodle show happens every night at 8.30. The chef goes into the middle of the dining room and puts on this magical display, turning dough into hundreds of noodles. The noodles are not made by machine, it's handmade. Their chef, Ella, she's spectacular. She makes everything by hand. And from that, it becomes magical, and it just stretches and stretch and becomes thousands and thousands of noodles. And it's very impressive. Oh my gosh, this was so cool. Now this is done for the entire restaurant to see once a night and everyone cheers and claps and watches. This is really dinner and a show as I've been saying. This is so cool, thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> Can't wait to eat it. Or what about the table-side Beijing duck, cooked to order, which takes about an hour, coming out fresh and hot. I smell it already. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's steaming. It looks delicious. Wow. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at those juices. We're all just mesmerized. <laughs> So I learned how to make it. We take the pancake and we put a little bit of the sauce on it. Then we take some cucumbers to kind of break through and add a cooling effect to that duck. And we have some scallion as well for the aroma. And then we're gonna put on the star of the show, the crispy, juicy duck. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get this juicy, crispy peas. Look at that skin. Oh my gosh, right on top there. And we roll it all up and we take a bite. Oh my gosh, it's probably hot, but I'm going for it. This is so good. I've been here, what, 25 years now? And maybe 5% change the menu. I mean, if you have something that's really successful, why change? I mean, we have people, families that have become generations and they're so excited to come try certain dishes like the green prawns, chicken satay, certain dishes. They're so excited for them. If they change, they'll feel like it's not much a child. From the duck to the famous green prawns, an original recipe dating all the way back to the London opening. It's a shrimp that has a little kick of spiciness with cashews, bell peppers, and mushroom. It's beautiful. The color, it's really nice. The secret is with the spinach juice, I'll let you know. Spinach juice, okay? Don't uh, tell anyone. Don't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> uh, but it's a really great dish. It's a, one of the signatures of Mr. Chow's. Just one of the many secrets to Mr. Chow's decades-long success. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for coming.